Hello everyone, this is Manoj English Coach. Welcome to Love English. And in today's video, I'm going to be reading a story, a history lesson on Teacher's Day. Now let's get started. The date was September 5th, 2003, or Teacher's Day. In Bangalore, on that day, I have a great time with my students. If for some reason, I'm out of Bangalore, I miss all the celebrations. On Teacher's Day, my students take me out and we all have lunch together and also watch a movie. They pool in their money and refuse to let me pay for anything. It shows me how close they are to me and that they remember me. It is an act of love and affection for their teacher. Each of them will go their different ways after they complete the course. But love, affection and concern for each other will always bind us together. Last year on Teacher's Day, I was out of station on some work and feeling depressed. A friend of mine realized that and said, let us go watch a film. You will feel better. We went to the theater. There was a big queue. I was surprised because there were only students from schools and colleges in the queue. As my friend was getting the tickets, I remembered my students and started chatting with the youngsters. How come you people are here? Is there no celebration in your college or school? There were a group of girls. One of them replied, Why should there be a celebration in the school? Is it not teacher's day? So what? We knew there was a holiday. We did not even ask for what. Today being Saturday, we are very happy that we are getting two days of holidays. Why does your school not celebrate Teacher's Day? Do you know why September 5th is known as Teacher's Day? Another girl replied, Our school may be celebrating Teacher's Day, but we don't want to go. We see the same teachers every day. Why see them even on a holiday? That provoked the teacher in me. At least they knew one answer. How come you know only that day? Because it's my birthday. My grandfather was a freedom fighter. He named me Mohini and he told me Gandhiji's name was Mohandas. So Mohini, do you like your name? No, I don't like it. It is very old fashioned. It sounds like it belongs to someone living a century ago. I have changed my name to Monica. Some other girl told me, I get confused with August 15th and January 26th. One of them is Independence Day and the other one is something connected with independence. I refuse to give up. Tell me, when did we get independence? That started off a discussion in the group. I could make out a number of opinions were being debated. One said 1950, some other said 1942, and the third group said 1947. In fact, the 1942 group was very short. They were right as they had watched the movie 1942, A Love Story. Do you know who was India's president then? We know it is Abdul Kalam. No, I am asking you before him. They were blank. Have you heard of Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan? We know about Radha Krishnan, 
the statues in marvel are very beautiful i have seen them in hare rama hare krishna temple i went with my parents one of them replied i told them dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan was a famous philosopher and a great teacher he taught in kolkata mysore and banaras when he left mysore it seems students pull the carriage to the station themselves and not horses for his lectures students from other colleges would come and listen irrespective of the subjects they were studying he was acknowledged as the best teacher wherever he taught later he became the president of india hence his birthday was declared as teachers day there are many stories about him please read any book or see on the internet the group looked ashamed now i felt bad and realized it was not their fault alone we give holidays to children but don't tell them the reason behind the holiday every year we prepare the same boring speech and deliver it to a handful of children most of us take the day off and do not make any effort so that children look forward to the day we could make them plant trees and teach them about the environment or we could take them out for a picnic and get close to them outside the classroom it is our duty to make sure that days like teachers day are utilized properly we have to work hard for that which we don't do children should be led by example and teachers are the best examples what we preach we should practice Thank you for attending this session. Do share and subscribe to this channel for more lessons like this. Check out other video lessons by clicking on the video.